Are you struggling to use ACF repeater fields within your Elementor page builder? If so, you are not alone. We have been there, and we have also tried most of the solutions people suggested in YouTube videos and blogs. But most of them are not easy to use. Some people suggested creating a custom shortcode, which is not an easy task. You have to create a custom design for the shortcode from scratch. Some people also suggested some plugins that have the way to use ACF repeater fields, but it's really complicated and has many limitations. We wanted a solution that's easy and does the job in the Elementor's way. That's how Repeaterly was born. In Elementor Pro, we have a widget for building a loop for our custom post type. We wanted to build the exact same loop builder, but for ACF repeater fields, because all of us are familiar with it. And you don't even need Elementor Pro to use this feature. We have created some additional widgets to bypass the need of Elementor Pro. Repeaterly comes with some dynamic widgets like text, image, button, list, etc., and you can use them to populate dynamic contents from different sources like post title, post content, post thumbnail, ACF custom fields, ACF custom, subfields, etc. You can use all these widgets within the ACF Repeater Loop Builder widget to create a custom layout to show your repeater fields data. Let me show you how you can use Repeaterly to add ACF repeater fields within your Elementor page builder. At first, make sure you have Repeaterly and Advanced Custom field installed along with Elementor. You don't even need Elementor Pro for this. Let's use Repeaterly in this page. I have created some custom fields to use in this landing page. and also added the required contents. First of all, I want to show you how to use the dynamic widgets that come with Repeaterly. These widgets are just extended versions of core Elementor widgets, and they have the same features and styling options with some extra. You can even copy and paste the style from your existing heading, image, button widgets to them directly without styling them again manually from scratch. Just drag and drop the widget you need from here. Set the content source you want to use from here. And set the value for that content source to populate the data from that specific source. You can copy and paste styles from existing widget. It's same for other dynamic widgets too. The list widget is a bit different. It's mainly used for ACF repeater fields. If you have a repeater field with only one subtext field, then you can use this widget to render the subfield values in a list. It uses the core list widget of Elementor. And so you can use the same options and styling here too. Let's use it. Firstly, set the ACF repeater field name. Now, set the subfield name. You can copy and paste the existing list style to make it look the same. Let's do the same for this list as well. It's really cool, isn't it? Now, we have this section, which has been duplicated multiple times for different features. It's not very good to duplicate sections in containers, as it duplicates everything from scratch-like styling of all the widgets within that, and doesn't reuse any styling or anything, which is not very performant and increases the database size. That is why the website loads very slow when you have a long landing page created with Elementor. 
To solve this issue, we can use ACF repeater fields to store the dynamic contents and then use repeaterly to create a custom loop layout for the repeater the field and render the repeater contents using that without duplicating the sections again. And again, it makes our life easier and the site loads faster while keeping the database size smaller. Let's make this section dynamic and render the data using ACF repeater fields and our repeater loop builder widget. First, you need to create the repeater field and add required subfields. Once done, add the contents for it. And now let's render the contents here using the loop builder. Drag and drop the ACF repeater grid widget and set the repeater field name. Now, we need a custom layout of how we want to show the data here. We need to create a template that we will use here for all the repeater items. Let's copy this section and add it to the template for our repeater loop items. Now, replace the current text and image widgets with our dynamic widgets. Set the content source and set the value as our subfield name. Replace the other widgets in the same way. Save it and go back to our actual page. We need to save the changes we made so far and reload the page to see the template in the drop down menu. Let's remove the old duplicate sections and select our newly created loop template from this drop down menu. You can see the repeater contents are being rendered here. You can set the number of columns from this option and the gaps you want. And that's it. We have successfully used ACF repeater fields in Elementor's way. I don't think there's anything better or easier solution than this. Feel free to check repeaterly and share your feedback. If you have any feature requests, feel free to comment below or contact us via our website. We want to resolve this issue completely so that you can utilize the full potential of Elementor and build amazing, highly optimized websites with ease. Please subscribe to our channel to stay updated. Thanks for watching.